Hello everyone. I'm going to go over a quick video tutorial on a great new feature we've added into Disco. The feature is named AI Button Creator. And basically what this feature allows you to do is automatically create looks in Disco based on your fixture groups and your position presets. So let me give you the steps on how to get that going. The first part of the process is obviously you need to patch your fixtures. So as you can see here, I've patched my show. I have all my movers patched on this view. I have uh, some piccolos patched here. I also have a matrix. But uh, we're mainly going to be talking and working with this view here. And as you can see, you can see those lights there in the 3D visualizer. So the first thing I need to do is create the fixture groups. So each of these groups will create a button group and it will create looks for those sets of fixtures. And you'll see a little bit of that in just a second when I uh, start this. So again, the process is very easy. You're gonna go to groups and you're gonna create the groups that you want Disco to create the looks for you. So I've created my group one, which are my washes in the middle. I'll, I'll kind of turn those on so you can see them. Group two are my um, beams that are around the perimeter there. Uh, group three are my uh, spots on the top. And then group four are all my fixtures. Now, the reason I did um, group four is because I wanted um, Disco to create looks for all the fixtures all at once. And it will also create them for just the separate groups of fixtures so you can stack and layer them. Now keep in mind when you originally patch in Disco, these groups are going to be automatically generated. And what you may have to do is delete the groups that uh, Disco automatically created and then specify the groups that you would like to use. So the second step is you need to set your position presets. So in this case, I'm going to select group four, which is my entire um, show or my entire set of lights. I'm gonna to go to my position presets and I wanna show you which ones I've created here. So, um, and I'll, I'll go through creating a position preset for you, but I've created those three. Um, let's go ahead and create another one. So I'm going to my groups, group four, initialize my fixtures. I'm gonna to go to joystick, point them all in the center. And let's say I want my top lights to point down. And then I'm going to break these out to the side somewhat. Break these others to the side here. All right. And let's say we want your washes to be pointing up a little bit, or we'll just do straight. Okay. So I've now set positions for all my fixtures in this group. And what I want to do now is hit by uh, first I want to select all those fixtures and then I want to hit create new and so I'm going to name this new preset and I'm going to create it okay so you'll see that preset is now included in all the presets that I've created so now once that's done the last thing you can do is set the size of the x and y shape that you want your shapes to be or your movement Generally, I'm going to suggest you want to set them halfway here. So that's going to size all your shapes about halfway the um, possible movement range of your fixtures. Okay, well, here comes the fun part. So in the latest version of Disco, you'll see on an empty page this AI button creator button. And I'm basically just going to press it. And as it's happening, I'll kind of tell you what's happening. So essentially what uh, Disco is doing, it's now automatically creating looks from your presets and your position presets for your entire light show. So you'll see here in just about a few seconds, I've created all these looks in a matter of under a minute. So now let's have a look at some of these looks. So we'll go through them. Some of them are going to be static. Some of them are going to be moving, but they're all based on the position presets and the shape of movement that you specified. So we can go through and we have 
all these looks. And keep in mind, every time that you create a new page, you can create um, these sets of buttons and they will be unique. They will all be unique. So um, you can see that even though they are random and unique, because they are utilizing the presets, they, they look pretty good. One other thing to note is every um, few sequences, it will create a look with an effects on. So you can see these are my static effects. These are my moving effects. So you can see a lot of these looks are pretty cool and they were all automatically created by our AI button creator. And just to add to this, um, I'll show you. So remember I told you we had these four groups, group one, two, three, and four. So if you'll go here and I'll press these, you'll see that those looks are for my first group. And then these looks are for my second group. And then these are for my fourth. And so you can see that you can use those three groups and stack and mix and match them, or you can use these that are the entire show. Okay, now let's talk about a couple of other things and then I'll let you guys go. So if you, let's say we like this look, but we want the rest of the lights to be a different color. So I'm gonna select the button, um, select edit sequence on playback, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my outside lights by holding my control or my shift down and selecting all the fixtures. And we're gonna change them to red. And then I'm gonna hit update. And then you'll see now, now my button has got the new colors and it's updated the look. So that's how you change the buttons. You can do that with any or all of them. Make the changes and um, they will automatically save. One last thing in this new version is the um, audio detect now has a snap function. So you can essentially hit the snap button and if the lights were fading, they will now snap. And then when you hit your next look, they'll go back to fading. So at any point, if you have your beat detection on, you can hit snap and it will snap, the positions will move to the beat. There's also this all audio button when it's pressed and the sound is activated. Uh, we're not going to add sound for <laughs> licensing purposes, but if you do have sound coming in, when you hit this all audio button, any button that's active will react to the audio tempo and you can kind of see this here. So I'm setting it to 80 if that was what was coming in. If I hit it to snap, you'll see that it will step every tempo hit. Then I can set it back and turn all audio off. So there you have it, the new AI button creator in the brand new version of Disco. Thanks for checking it out. You can request more info from our website at mega-lite.com, mega-lite.com. Thanks for checking it out.